Nuclear reactors are so robust that a fighter jet crash barely dents them, yet nuclear cowboys risk undermining industry trust. According to The Telegraph, Britain's Nuclear Regulatory Task Force is reviewing ways to streamline bureaucracy without weakening safety standards. The task force aims to simplify the UK's revered generic design assessment, which currently sets the bar for nuclear safety so high that critics say it drives costs up, but also ensures public trust. Nuclear power plants are engineered to withstand extreme events. Thanks to strict safety protocols, nuclear energy has the lowest death rate of any energy sector and consistently delivers over 90% uptime, far more than wind and solar. Despite these strengths, investor confidence is shaken by regulatory uncertainty and political indecision, as seen in the stalled reactor projects over the last decade. The task force recommendations may pave the way for more efficient approvals and attract long-term investment, but experts caution against loosening safety oversight. If reforms strike the right balance, the UK could see accelerated reactor construction, including small modular reactors. However, just one safety incident could set back progress for years and reignite fierce public opposition. Data centers could consume up to 12% of US electricity by 2028, driven by AI's voracious appetite, reports the Department of Energy. The Times Union highlights New York's struggle to meet clean energy mandates while accommodating a surging demand from AI data centers. These facilities are expected to account for nearly half of US electricity demand growth through 2030, yet often employ far fewer people than other industrial projects, raising questions about their economic benefits. New York's largest AI-focused data facilities require gigawatts of power, enough to supply millions of homes. With residential customers paying far higher rates than industry, cost burdens are shifting. The state already lags behind its goal of sourcing 70% of electricity from renewables by 2030, and scaling up nuclear and other non-emitting sources is complicated by transmission bottlenecks and policy delays. The governor's Empire AI initiative includes plans for a new nuclear plant to help balance the grid and power public benefit AI research. But with grid projections often overshooting real demand and data center proposals outpacing actual builds, uncertainty remains. New York faces tough choices. How to fund clean energy infrastructure, who pays higher rates, and whether nuclear can scale quickly enough to support both climate targets and economic growth. And finally, Malaysia's data centers could gulp 20% of the country's total energy by 2035, pushing officials to consider nuclear power. CNBC examines the rise of Johor as a Southeast Asian data center hotspot, with planned capacity approaching 10 times current levels. Despite cheap land and government incentives drawing tech giants, the region's power and water infrastructure is reaching its limits, forcing a slowdown of new approvals. Johor's data centers already consume enough power for millions of homes and use vast quantities of water for cooling, up to 4.2 million liters of water daily per 100 megawatt center. Malaysia relies on natural gas for expansion, but this conflicts with net zero ambitions. Water shortages have prompted new tariffs and investment on recycling, while Singapore's earlier crackdown on data centers pushed growth into Malaysia, further straining resources. Malaysia's government plans a sustainable data framework and is fast-tracking renewables, but nuclear has re-emerged as a potential solution to meet soaring demand without sacrificing climate goals. Regional competition and lack of global standards means resource-intensive data centers will keep testing the limits. If nuclear gains traction, it could reshape Malaysia's energy mix and set a precedent for how tech-driven economies manage growth sustainably.